Hello my friends and welcome to dependency injection course. In this video, we will continue talking about dependency injection, how to use it, why we use it and when we use it. So we have talked about uh, this topic in the previous video and we took an example. In this video, I'm going to take uh, an example in order to clarify all concepts about this topic, to start building and diving into uh, more and more advanced topics inside uh, dependency injection like Dagger, Hilt, Coin, and when to use uh, these proper uh, libraries. So if you want to learn uh, coding and start from zero to hero you came to the right place hit subscribe to our youtube channel and rate us five stars on udemy so you get all courses free what is dependency injection before we will talk about this dependency we will make an ordinary app that we have uh, learned how to make it in java or android I have created a class called car. This car have an engine like a parameter. Uh, it depends on an engine and this engine, um, this engine, sorry, uh, instance would make a start a calling the start method. So when the, uh, the user need to start the car, he needs to call the engine instance and go and start the engine the engine by using start engine method i will go to the engine method and the class this engine uh, class contains a start method the start method will give us the a, a look at message telling us that the engine has been started so till now i have created a car a car depends on making a start for the engine. So the, when we, the user wants to start the car, the car should start the engine. This is what we have written. So this is the engine having the start method and the car method has the start uh, car method that would, should uh, call the start engine method. Let us uh, test this functionalities and uh, test these classes. Inside the onCreate method, I'm making them on Android Studio in order to, to keep the concepts in Android Studio. Uh, I can make them on Java. They are the same, but I prefer making them here in order to, uh, to understand the functionality faster later on. I have created an instance of the car by making a new car. So I'm just making an object of the car and calling the start, calling the start method of the car. So the car instance would go and call the start method. And inside the start method, it contains an engine object that would be started the engine. Let me run the app and see what are the results. So in this example, the car will depends on the engine. So when we need to start the car, we need to start the engine. And when we need to create a car, we need to create an engine. So this is what we have been talking about. So this is, you see guys in the look at here, we have engine started tag, so tag, if we search about uh, for tags, we we will get this. Uh, this is the look at, okay. And if we search for the tag, we get the engine started. So it's very simple. This is called hard dependency. So we didn't made the dependency injection. This is what we are going to improve. What we are going to use and the uh, dependency injection for four. Okay, guys, as I told you, this is an example of hard dependency. Now we are going to make a dependency injection and see the difference. But before we start, let me ask you some questions. 
I will recall the three ways for a class to get an object it needs. So there are three ways for a class to get an object it needs. A class constructs the dependency it needs. As we have created here, the first one is the class construct the dependency it needs. When we, we need to create a car, we need to create an engine. So whenever you need to create a new car, you, the car class will go and create a new instance of the class engine. So the car, it creates its own de uh, dependencies, its own objects. This is, as I told you, hard dependency. And it's one way of creating and or a class to get an object. So class creates uh, its own objects of other classes. This is as this figure. You see guys that we have created a car. It depends on the engine. So whenever we need to create an instance of a car, we the car class creates an engine uh, instance and depends on it okay so back to here the second way that the class receives objects it grab it from somewhere else some android apis such as context getters and get system service work this way so this is the second way that the class get an object the first one is constructing its dependency as with this example do the second is grabbing it from somewhere else this is not a very important for us in the uh, dependency injection and the last way that they use the class get an object from it or what we need from object is having to supply it as a parameter the app can provide these dependencies when the class is constructed or pass them into the functions that need each dependency. This is example that the car constructor would receive engine as parameter. So we are going to make and transform this hard dependency example to dependency injection. With this approach, you take the dependencies of class and provide them rather than having the class instance obtained themselves. Okay, guys. So the car, as I recall, that this car class would make every time would create an engine and an engine class and go and call it. Every time the class, the car class would be created, an object from it, an object of engine would be created. And this encoding may be a pro problem, a very big problem. Okay, so let me give you a question and see what we uh, why we need dependency injection and why how what things does dependency injection solve okay whenever you need to create a car you need to create an engine for it the car class would create an engine for it so the question is here car and engine are tightly coupled an instance of car uses one type of engine and no subclasses or alternative implementation that can easily use. If the car were to construct its own engine, you would have to create two types of car instead of using the same car for two types of engine. So, guys, the question, if you need to create a, a car with two engines, one electric and one for gas. What is the what is the solution? So I need you to answer it, to think about it. Okay, so 
if I need, again, if I need to create a car with two engines, it is impossible in this way to create a car with two engines because every time I need to create an engine or I need to create a car, it creates one engine. And it's impossible to create two types of engine, one electric and one gas. And this is a very problematic and very, uh, very hard to make. And it's impossible to make in this uh, logic. So here's come the dependency injection. Again, another question. If I need, if I have created a car with and uh, gas engine. This car uh, object is called uh, car 111. If I need to replace the car gas engine for this car 111, I should create a new object of a class and I need to create a new engine. So it's impossible to modify the created object or test it. The hard dependency on engine makes testing more difficult. Car uses a real instance of engine, thus preventing you from using a test double to modify engine for different test cases. So, guys, the dependency injection is the solution. Okay, we have the solution for multiple uh, types of, en uh, of engines. And we have the solution for the testing. Later on, we will make a new core, a new topic and playlist and course about unit testing. So unit testing in Android is very important, and we came uh, across it in this uh, in in next courses. And the dependency injection is a very uh, it's the basic and the basis of uh, unit testing imagine that every time you need to make a test for your class or your uh, you need to create a real object so dependency injection is the solution for unit testing and it make your code more and more cleaner and more and more usable let me show you how to transform your code into a dependency injection and then later on in the next course in next videos we are going to use the uh, third libraries and in this video we will see why we are going to use like dagger or uh, hilt or these classes these uh, a, a third party libraries okay so again Back to our course, back to our video here. I will modify this and I will remove this private new engine. I will remove making uh, every time an instance of engine, every time an instance of car would be created. So for that, I make an, an constructor injection here and every time passing passing the engine here inside the constructor of the car i'm not making every time a new engine instance i'm just passing the objects i'm just passing the objects of the the engine for the car object okay in this way we have eliminated the dependency of the car on the engine. We can pass the engine every time I need to create a car. So engine class would be also the same. It's very simple, guys. The dependency injection may be a very complex and advanced thing, but you see, guys, I have created a very good idea. I have... Uh, uh, like uh, make you understand it very well so just removing let me show you what I have uh, did I have just removed the new engine so every time the car would be created 
it will not create it, it will not create the engine instance and for that i will pass inside the constructor of the car the engine i am just passing the object of engine to the constructor of the car this is the dependency injection let us go to the main activity and you see guys there is an error here telling us we need to create an engine so it's very simple guys you can now create an engine e equal to new engine here okay engine okay and i'm passing it okay this is very simple guys now i can pass for this car i can create for it a gas engine a fuel engine electric engine jet engine whatever you want guys so this is the functionality this is the importance of dependency injection like making this car is not dependent on the engine it's just passing it into the constructor as a parameter so let me test our app let me run our application and see if the engine would be started or not okay i will restart the app we install it i hope you um, understand the concept of uh, of this and um, i need you to make uh, some practice about this open your android studio and try to make your uh, codes try to make this example and uh, i am listening uh, for you in the comments and the inquest in the questions below in the comments so i i'm happy to ask me or may, just making uh, a comment like thanks or whatever you want or you can um, you can uh, make uh, some you can get my faults and wrong things or uh, the bad things you you hate me uh, in you can comment it i'm uh, i love uh, listening to your comments uh, back to android studio here we have the engine has been started and our application is now uh, not dependent on the uh, engine so i will show you a diagram here you see guys the previously um, the diagram of the engine here has been transformed in our application to this this diagram the car class is not dependent on engine the dependencies of the car are not shown and we have made it not dependent on the engine it is the dependency injection now we can test the car with gas engine uh, fuel engine uh, jet engine uh, supersonic engine electric engine what you want whatever you want any engine you can test the car and this is the very concept and a very advanced concept that you should learn for unit testing your application in order to advance your coding and coding skills and make you professional coder i hope you benefit benefit from our uh, videos if you have any questions uh, i am listening to you and uh, i hope you like uh, subscribe and share on uh, youtube youtube and uh, udemy rate us five stars uh, we will start in next course in next videos the, using the dagger hill and uh, much more thank you guys i hope you understand everything bye 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 bye